Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So we're gonna be talking about Cafe Bustelo, and in particular, we're gonna talk about their Brazilian blend. I have never had this coffee a day in my life, and I am super, super excited to put this to the test. Yes, people, this is a K-cup. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a hands-on with the box, then we're gonna throw it over the K-mini, we're gonna brew up a nice hot cup of coffee, then we're gonna do my favorite part of this whole shebang, we're gonna do the sip test. Yes, people, I absolutely love tasting new coffee, and this looks good, yes. Then we're gonna figure out, is this a daily, weekly, monthly, or never consumption coffee? It does happen, people, it does happen. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So up at the top, you have, for the first time on this channel, you have it actually written out in a, in a different language right there. It looks like it's in possibly Spanish. I don't know what that says. I'm guessing it says genuine K-cups, though. Um, that is the stamp of approval that you want to see. This artwork is absolutely phenomenal. I love it so much. Cafe Bustelo, Brazilian. Brazil? Brazil. All right, we got the Brazilian blend though. That is what's up. I've never had this a day in my life. Um, it looks absolutely delicious and I haven't even gotten into it yet. This is the 12 pack. All right, so this is 0 0.33. So this is actually on the low end. So this cup of coffee is going to be um, it, it potentially watery and also low on caffeine. So you're probably gonna wanna throw two of these in if you're trying to get a morning's cup. So that right off the bat is a little bit annoying and uh, not so cool. All right, let's take a look at the other side. Very simple, 100% Brazilian blend. That is very interesting. Ingredients, coffee, that's what you wanna see, people. I just can't say enough about this artwork, it's very cool. Let's take a look at the back, all right. You got a little bit of backstory on these guys. Cool, cool. And then you got the way to recycle. Nice. Take a look over, over here. Best Buy date, we are good to go. Okay, that's the coffee roasters. Oh, they're in Miami, Florida. Very cool, I know somebody in Miami, Florida. Nice, actually Don Pablo is in Miami, Florida. Cool. I wonder if these guys know each other. All right, let's crack this bad boy open and see if the carpet matches the drapes. Ka-chang. Ooh, that one's messed up too. That is funny, that's two in a row. Where the, there we go, that's good to go. All right, so it definitely does. If you look there, very cool. The yellow is a little bit less than the box, but close enough, that is cool. You're definitely not gonna mistake this for another K-cup. You're gonna see that and go, that's the one. Cafe Bustelo. Very cool, I like saying that word, Bustelo. All right, coming up, we're gonna throw this bad boy into the K-mini and brew up a nice hot cup of coffee. Cafe? All right, let's get into this. I am so excited to put this coffee to the test. I think this might be one of my more anticipated cups of coffee, but we're gonna be using the K-Mini. If you don't know what it is, that's good. It is not the best, I would not recommend it. It dies quite easily. Here we go, we got our eight fluid ounces. I'm trying to stick with a standard. That way each cup that I review is the same as the last. All right. So what we're gonna be looking for is a nice rich stream. We don't want a watery cup of coffee, people. Let's take a look. Nice, that is looking very, very rich and very yum. I will admit that if you keep your Keurig cleaned monthly by using vinegar, I know that sounds gross, but yes, use vinegar in your, instead of water, run it through and then run a bunch of water and you will keep your machine running like new for a long time that has really helped out this machine. That is a nice, rich stream, and it looked like it was rich to the last drop. Look at that coffee right there, people. That is yum-e. Yes. All right, coming up, we are going to test 
the temperature. We're gonna take its temperature. Hopefully it doesn't have a fever. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so you want your coffee between 130 and 145. I usually like mine about 132. Try this at home and you will find that your cup of coffee tastes the best at 132. I love it. All right, it looks perfect. All right, let's get into this sip test. I am so excited to taste this coffee. The smell is very, very familiar, almost like something like a that, that I've smelled. I've definitely smelled this before, and when you buy it, if you do buy it, you're gonna smell the same thing. It has this sort of like um, sweet burnt smell to it. Um, it smells extremely rich, extremely good. The color tones are absolutely amazing. Yeah, it just, it, it, it already says this is gonna be a yummy cup of coffee and I haven't even gotten into it. Wow. Definitely some fruity notes. Whoa. Wow. That is absolutely amazing. That taste, I almost don't know what I'm tasting. This is incredible, wow. It goes down so smooth, it's so, it's almost like it hits your taste buds and then it's gone and it's just all after taste. It's, it's all, wow, that is a very interesting cup of coffee. Wow, it is like a, it like ghosts your taste buds. It's there and then gone, there and then gone. Wow, it's, it's watery, but in a good way. It's got um, a great taste to it. It is, um, wow, very, very interesting. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely something you can drink multiple cups of um, and not get the jitters, not feel like you're over-caffeinated and you're not over, over coffeeinated. I don't know. It does, you wouldn't feel like you're just killing yourself with coffee. This is a great in-between cup of coffee. This is a great um, coffee with a meal, um, maybe coffee with a friend or a family member that you wanna just enjoy uh, a very simple cup of coffee with a good flavor to it. And it's one where you're gonna, as soon as it's gone, you're probably gonna go back and brew up another cup because it just has that like enjoyable factor to it that, that makes you want more. Um, and especially because it's so thin and watery, but in a good way, of course. Um, it doesn't really have any of that, like this is a, a plain, you know, sort of cheap K cup. Um, yeah, that is an enjoyable cup of coffee right there. Wow. I'm gonna give it a solid four and one quarter star. I'm not gonna give it a four and a half or a five. I don't think it's up there, but it's definitely a really, really good K cup. I, I am I'm very much impressed. It's definitely one that I'll be buying more of, and I'll definitely be reviewing more of this company um, because I just found out it existed, and yet people um, talk about it. So it's a known company that people enjoy, people like it. Um, I definitely have a, a, a follower that enjoys this coffee. So, yeah, that is very good. Four and one quarter stars, people. Enjoyable. Buy it. Don't be scared. Yeah, there's just, there's something about it that just has like a, like a fruity sort of original uh, taste to it which you don't find in other coffees. So that is, um, I'm gonna give it five stars for that alone, but still four and one quarter, one fourth, four and one quarter, <laughs> four and a fourth. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Good job. All right, there you go. That's the Cafe Bustello. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click to clack that like button. And if you wanna join the At Home with Lucas family, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, 
I surpassed 1K and became an official YouTube creator. What, what? So excited. I cannot thank you guys enough for all the hard work you guys put in by clicking that subscribe button and boosting my confidence by watching more and more of my videos. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.